Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. If you've been following my channel, you know that I've been doing a series for the monthly soul symbol. So this being the fourth one, it is April, and April soul symbol is a lion. So the birthstone for April is a diamond. So I tried doing a diamond one, you'll see it at the end, uh, but I thought that it was a little bit complicated to try to do a tutorial on so I did this and loved the effect that I got from it. To begin with I casted my stone from the uh, molds from the Happy Dotting Company. If you're interested in buying your own molds please look in the description below. I do have a link to their Etsy shop and you can buy your own molds. She has all sorts of different sizes and shapes and I just love them. So I cast all of my own stones and um, make my designs on them myself. Once they've dried for a few days, I then give them a base coat of black. So I do one base coat on the bottom and I do two base coats on the top. So the first one's just with a paintbrush and the second one I painted on uh, generously and use a sponge to blend it all together. End up with a really nice soft surface to be able to paint on. Now what I'm doing is I had put on some pearl white um, metallic paint and then now I'm adding some, I think it's called frost blue uh, metallic paints and I'm just sort of painting them and blending them in together because what I'm going to do next is take a sponge and sponge it and it actually leaves this really interesting texture to it that gives the resemblance kind of like a, a diamond or a gem. Um, by using the colors that I use, it has the glow of a gem or like the shine of a gem of the diamond. But just check it out. Like look at all of that detail that's in there just from sponging it. And I love it. It just, it totally looks like a diamond to me. All the colors that I'm using today will be listed in the description below. But that doesn't mean that you have to use them as well. I urge you to use whatever you have available to you. I don't want you to rush out to the store and buy exactly the same. Um, it's just what I have available to me in my stash. Um, I'm just basically showing you some techniques and maybe some tips and tricks on how to do uh, something similar to this that you want to do on your own rock, whether it be a natural rock or a casted rock or even a canvas or a piece of wood. Uh, you don't have to be limited to what I'm doing. So I outlined the circle with gold and that just basically holds everything in place so I know where my center is and how far I can go on either side. And now I'm just penciling in a really rough quick design of my lion. So I wanted to do something similar to how I did the dragon in the January um, uh, tutorial so definitely go and check that out um, but I wanted to do something similar so I just quickly did an outline uh, with my pencil and now I'm going in with black paint and I'm going to outline everything and then color everything in with black so that's what I'm doing now and trust me I don't really paint this fast I have sped up the video so that I can get all of the content in into a, a nice time frame rather than sitting around and watching a 72 minute video. <laughs> so, but that's all I'm doing here is uh, I'm going over the uh, sketched design that I put on there, but I don't always follow the lines. I'm really bad for that. So that's why I do it in pencil or I will use the General's charcoal pencil because they both erase quite nicely. Um, and it's just because I rarely follow the design that I have drawn on or I've created and I just end up, you know, going with the flow. So here it is, um, mostly colored in and uh, I'm just making everything black. I left a little bit of the diamond color shine through between the head and the mane because I wanted those to be separated and really gives that definition that it's a lion. So the soul symbol, as I said, for April is a lion. And what that means is that you are someone who is filled with immense passion and is extremely bold and courageous. And I just love that the lion is the soul symbol 
and the birthstone is a diamond because a diamond is extremely hard and it's beautiful and it has all of that boldness of um, what a lion represents. So I really, really enjoy that the two are married together, if you will. Um, and I really like how this one turned out. So what I'm doing now is I'm just outlining all of the black now that it's all dry. I'm just outlining it with gold. Um, I really wanted it to stand out and have the same sort of um, imagery of the diamond on the outside when I did the circle on the outside. So that's what I'm doing here is I'm just outlining everything in gold using my... Um, my fine lining brush there that I have or I'm, I don't know what you would call it. It's very thin uh, and I use it for doing a lot of the outlining and detail work. Uh, but I do all the way around the mane and then I do around the head and I use the gold actually for the accents. So what I end up doing, you'll see very shortly, is I use the gold to drag up the main pieces so that it looks like it's parts of the mane rather than just one big black blob of, I don't know, wispies. <laughs> so I do uh, go in and uh, bring the mane up into the head so that it looks more like chunks of hair or chunks of the mane. Um, and then I add a little bit of extra something a little bit later and you'll see that. But here I am, I'm doing that right now, just sort of uh, defining each strand or each bunch of the hair for the mane and uh, it really really makes it pop and look like a, a lion. So now I'm just adding those little white bloops to uh, give it that illusion that it is shining or that the light is gleaming off of it um, and when I resin it it'll really really pop and uh, this this helps with that. So very easy to do just put your paintbrush down drag it and then add a little bloop at the end. And there you go. You've got uh, three places where light is reflecting off of it. And it looks great. As I do on all my stones, I always put a border on it. And I usually use dots because I love dots. And I need to make sure that they are symmetrical. Because that's just how I am. So I use the uh, guideline silicone mat there that I purchased from the Happy Dotting Company. Definitely, again, like I said, the link is down in the description below. Uh, go to their shop, check it out. She has tons of stuff um, and it's just amazing stuff. I have so much. Uh, I love it. Um, and now I'm just using my uh, dotting tools that I purchased from the Dotting Center. They are also listed in my description below and if you go to their shop and you make a purchase make sure that you use my discount code uh, charity10 and uh, that will give you 10% off so uh, definitely go over check her out she's got lots of tutorials as well online so that you can follow along using her dotting tools so I put my gold dots on and then I walked some white dots around and then I went one size higher with a dotting stylist and did a, a walk around of gold dots. And now I'm just putting in a center black dot in the gold dots because later on I will be putting on some bling bling because I've always got to have bling bling on these things too. So now here's the, I guess the surprise that I was telling you about that I put in the main. So I'm actually putting in some um, dragonfly glaze and I love this stuff uh, it's like a three-tone so it changes color when you tilt it differently in the light and because a diamond is so shiny and it gleams so much and as you move it different parts of it shine at different times that's kind of how I wanted the main to be as well just to continue with um, the whole diamond and things are glittery and shiny and all of that good stuff so that's what I wanted to do with the mane it's a little bit hard to see here but once it dries uh, it looks amazing and it looks even better once it's under a coat of resin so stay tuned to the end of the video because I will be uh, putting that 
uh, a picture at the end as well as the other one that I did because I've said before in my other tutorials that I always paint two. I paint one on camera and I paint one off camera. Basically the one off camera is for me to do my practicing and trying out different techniques and things and then deciding if it's worthy to put onto a YouTube video. So um, I do have both of them uh, completed and I put pictures of them both at the end of the video. So now what I'm doing here is what I call dot dragging. I'm sure that there's an official name, but I just don't know what it is, but I call it dot dragging. So what I'm going to be making is kind of like a leaf pattern. So I put on um, a couple of loaded dots. Um, let me rephrase that. So I put one dot on, I go back, reload my tool and come back and re-dot the same spot. Then I take a small stylus and I drag the dot up and it gives it like that teardrop effect. But then when you add the other dots, like I'm doing now, it changes the total look of it. So I'm now using that same white pearl um, that I used as a base coat and I'm dragging these dots. But this time, if you notice, I'm actually dragging them up as close as I can get to that gold line but not touching It's because I want that black to still shine through and it gives that nice separation of these two so I do this all the way around the rock in between the gold dots that I had done earlier now that they're dry and the top is dry I can hold it a lot easier and I can just put in uh, these dots and finish it off so here's a close-up of it so just to show you that the tool is fairly loaded with paint. When you're dealing with this pearl white uh, metallic paint, it is very thick. So it could have what I call a snapback. What that means is when you pull your tool away, do it straight away. Don't pull up or down um, and go slow because it will have a string of paint stuck to the tool as as well as the rock and if you pull away too fast it'll snap back and leave these little hairline pieces of color all over the place so if you do it slowly it'll snap back but into the paint that's already applied so that's just a little tidbit or a tip and trick for you um, and uh, yeah so now I'm going in I'm doing the same thing with another gold dot just to finish it off and see how it just having the dots and dragging them, how they look, like it's a totally different look. And I love it, it looks great. Make sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And if you like it and you wanna see more, please subscribe. And if you don't wanna miss anything, hit that bell. I'm just adding a little bit of tacky glue onto here now on the black dots to add my bling bling. Gotta have the bling bling and it looks so beautiful. So there you have it folks, it's complete. And remember, life is what you make it, so get creative. Mm -hmm.